Georgia Southern, and, and Ward struggled with that. They really kind of shut her down. She only had 16. Bristow with a tough move, but can't get the easy, well, I say easy, that's relatively speaking, because it was only close. It was contested, so. And we'll hustle into the situation here on the far end. All right, so a five-point ball game, 132 to go. And the foul. So Bristow called for her second foul, and you see, you saw there on the replay. And they're actually stopping to take a look at, on the other side, what actually transpired here. Yeah, these, the battle of the boards is going to be a key in today's ball game. Here's a look at it once again. Yeah, didn't, didn't quite see the beginning of this one. The knee to the head. Yeah. let the officials rule whether that was something of coincidence. Well, me for one would like to see a clean game. <laughs> this is going to be a physical game. You know they're going to be physical. When you get into conference play, and, and we have learned this about the Sun Belt, that, that there's, there is some physicality in the nature of the Sun Belt Conference when it comes to, to basketball, both men and women. You have to be ready to go. There's no question about it. You do. It's one of those conferences where it just any given night, you, you just never know who's going to win. It wouldn't be a shocker. Very, very competitive conference. Okay. I think a little indication there from the opposite side. They're discussing really necessary for her to take that route, I'm, right. I'm believing. Step we're gonna, Bristow. Yeah. We're going to get to, Missy, why don't you take a listen to what he has to say. Okay. All right, so maybe you heard all of that. So there is the common foul on Bristow, so that is her second. They're calling a, a, an intentional foul on Taryn Ward, which that'll be her first. There's a couple of free throws uh, for Georgia Southern coming, the, the person that was fouled, and quite frankly, I missed who that was. And then Coach O'Regan can choose anybody who he wants to to take the technical fouls at the other end. And when that's all said and done, James Madison will have the basketball. And I want to thank Coach, uh, excuse me, our official Royce Blevins for explaining that to us, and it looks like it will be, well, this is Diamond Stokes taking the free throw. Was it Stokes that stepped over her? Oh, okay, my apologies. It was Stokes. It was, it was okay. Stokes, yeah, it wasn't. I beg your pardon. I, yeah, I didn't think it was Ward. Yeah, I, I had him confused. I had him confused. That was on me. That was a couple of minutes ago. <laughs> Okay, so there, there are no fouls on Ward. But there are two fouls now on Stokes. So Peyton McDaniel will take the free throws for the Duke. She's at 68%, 23 out of 34 this year. That puts her in the scorebook. Averaging 12.8 points per game. James Madison has three players averaging 12 plus per contest as this team goes deep, as you've already seen with C. 